1977, Voyager 2 launched from Cape Canaveral on a grand tour of the outer solar system. Its path was unique, visiting Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, and Neptune, thanks to a rare planetary alignment. On board was the Golden Record, a gold-plated disc with sounds and greetings from Earth, a message of hope. Voyager 2 became humanity's ambassador, carrying our story into the cosmic ocean. The adventure had begun. In 1979, Voyager 2 reached Jupiter, the king of planets, and sent back images that stunned the world. We saw the great red spot as a raging storm, not a static feature, and discovered Jupiter's atmosphere was a swirling, electrified chaos. Voyager 2's cameras revealed Europa's icy surface, hinting at a hidden ocean. Suddenly, the search for life expanded beyond Earth. Io, another moon, was found to be the most volcanically active body in the solar system, its surface reshaped by constant eruptions. Ganymede and Callisto, too, were unveiled as complex worlds, each with its own story. Jupiter's gravity slingshotted Voyager 2 onward, saving years of travel time and fuel. The probe's discoveries rewrote textbooks, showing Jupiter as a miniature solar system teeming with dynamic, diverse worlds. The mission was a triumph, proving Voyager 2 could survive and thrive in the outer solar system. With Jupiter behind it, Voyager 2 set its sights on Saturn, carrying humanity's curiosity ever farther. The journey was just beginning. In 1981, Voyager 2 arrived at Saturn, revealing the planet's rings as intricate systems of thousands of ringlets, not solid bands. The probe captured mysterious spokes in the rings and studied moons like Enceladus, Iapetus, and Mimas, each a world of surprises. Enceladus's smooth, bright surface hinted at recent geological activity, while Titan's thick, hazy atmosphere suggested a prebiotic chemical factory. Voyager 2's instruments measured Titan's atmosphere, confirming it was shrouded in organic smog, possibly resembling early Earth. The Saturn flyby was the last chance to aim for the outer solar system, and the team nailed the trajectory. Using Saturn's gravity, Voyager 2 set course for Uranus, venturing into the unknown. The encounter deepened our sense of wonder, revealing Saturn as a world of breathtaking complexity. Each discovery raised new questions, fueling the desire to explore further. Voyager 2 pressed on, leaving Saturn's mysteries in its wake. In January 1986, Voyager 2 became the first spacecraft to visit Uranus, a planet tilted on its side, rolling along its orbit. Uranus appeared calm and blue-green, but Voyager 2 detected high-speed winds and a bizarre, lopsided magnetic field. The probe discovered ten new moons and revealed Uranus's rings, dark, thin, and unlike any seen before. Among the moons, Miranda stood out, a patchwork world scarred by canyons and strange terrain, as if shattered and reassembled. The encounter was brief, but the data was groundbreaking. Voyager 2's team overcame faint signals in low light, developing new techniques to capture these first-ever close-ups. Uranus's secrets challenged our understanding of planetary systems. The flyby was a triumph of engineering and curiosity, expanding the boundaries of exploration. Using Uranus's gravity, Voyager 2 set course for Neptune, its final planetary destination. The probe left behind a portrait of a sideways world and a moon that looked like a cosmic jigsaw puzzle. Humanity had glimpsed another frontier. The journey pressed on. In August 1989, Voyager 2 reached Neptune, the last giant planet, and found a world of dynamic, deep blue beauty. Neptune's atmosphere was alive with storms, including the Great Dark Spot, an Earth-sized anticyclone, and the fastest winds in the solar system. Voyager 2 discovered faint, clumpy rings and six new moons, but the highlight was Triton, Neptune's largest moon. Triton's surface was a frozen landscape of geysers and strange terrain, making it one of the few geologically active moons. 
The probe's daring flyby brought it just 3,000 miles above Neptune's pole, then over Triton, a final planetary encounter. After Neptune, Voyager 2's path bent below the solar system's plane, heading for interstellar space. The grand tour was complete, transforming our understanding of the outer planets. Neptune's blue marble and Triton's icy plumes were Voyager 2's last postcards from the planetary neighborhood. The era of planetary exploration was ending, but a new journey was about to begin. Voyager 2 sailed onward, into the unknown. After Neptune, Voyager 2's cameras were turned off to conserve power, making its final images of Neptune and Triton its last. These images weren't about new discoveries, but about perspective. A farewell to the solar system's edge. The photos of Triton's erupting plumes and Neptune's blue clouds were a final, stunning surprise. They marked the end of an era, the last close-up views of distant worlds for decades to come. The light from these images took over four hours to reach Earth, a testament to the vastness Voyager 2 had crossed. Captured by a spacecraft with less computing power than a digital watch, these images were a technical marvel. After transmitting them, Voyager 2's cameras were powered down forever. The probe would continue, now blind, using its other instruments to sense the boundary between our solar system and interstellar space. The final images were a farewell, not just to Neptune, but to the concept of a destination within our sun's family. For decades, Voyager 2 journeyed outward, seeking the edge of our solar system, the heliopause, where the sun's influence ends. In 2018, Voyager 2 crossed this boundary, entering interstellar space and becoming only the second human-made object to do so. Its instruments detected a dramatic drop in solar particles and a surge in cosmic rays, revealing a turbulent, unexpected frontier. Voyager 2's crossing gave us our first direct measurements of the galaxy beyond our solar bubble. The adventure continues, deeper into the galaxy. Today, Voyager 2 is over 12.8 billion miles from Earth. A message takes 19 hours each way to reach it. Its power source is fading and systems are shutting down, but the probe still samples the interstellar medium, sending back invaluable data. Voyager 2 is our silent sentinel, the first ambassador to the Milky Way, proving we can build machines that last for decades and cross unimaginable distances. Within a decade, it will fall silent, its transmitter shutting down as its power runs out. Yet Voyager 2's journey won't end. It will drift through the galaxy for millions of years, carrying the golden record, a message from Earth. In 40,000 years, it will pass near another star. In 296,000 years, it will pass Sirius. Voyager 2 is more than a mission. It's a legacy, a testament to human ingenuity and our quest to understand the universe. It will outlast our civilization, a silent ghost ship from a small blue planet. Its eternal watch is a story of exploration, connection, and remembrance. Voyager 2 sails on, a beacon of our desire to reach for the stars.